flew to Newport News and interview. I was with Mandy, and uh, set up a camera. Catherine comes in, and I go through my questions, and I say, Catherine, what was it like working with all men? What was it like to experience racism, sexism, or racism at NASA? And she got this blank look on her face, and she went, "What?" I said, well, you know, you were at NASA during the Jim Crow South, and, and what was it like? She goes, oh, no. I didn't experience any of that. I just put my head down, did my work. Mm -hmm. And so your answer lies in that. There is a woman who this movie is about, who we're all here celebrating, really. We're not celebrating us. We're celebrating Katherine Johnson, Dorothy Vaughn, and Mary, Mary Jackson, right? That's why we're here. That's why we made the movie. For women that put their head down do the work. They didn't take no for an answer, didn't care about the slights, drove through. And that's the only thing you can do. And no one can do it for you. I was such a nerd. <laughs> it never would have occurred to me that that isn't the kind of thing that a young woman would do. And I think it's because I always had my mom who told me in a way that I could tell she meant it, do whatever you want to do. It's, it told, I was, I'd always had a cheerleader. And uh, a lot of my teachers, like Patachi mentioned, were really good about that too. So it took me a while in doing outreach to kids. I would go talk to students just because I wanted to tell them how, look at this cool space stuff, right? Mm -hmm. That um, it took me a while to even understand that that there are girls who, who see messages in society, they don't see themselves on TV as astrophysicists or, or engineers, mm -hmm. that they get this, even if it's an unconscious thought, that that's not the kind of mm -hmm. thing for me, mm -hmm. that, um, that it's increased my awareness of the importance for us to not just say, look at this cool space stuff, but look at this cool space stuff, and I'm a girl, and I'm doing this, mm -hmm. and I've always thought it was cool since I'm a kid, and even if you don't like math right now, this is the kind of stuff you could do, right? I, I think it's important to try to break through that, that um, unconscious message they could be yeah. getting, that that's not the sort of thing they can do. Well said. Um, I would have to say that I think it's very important to reach out and reach down to generations of you know, kids that are younger than you, both boys and girls, because they both need to know that we're all capable of achieving e equal uh, academic success in any field. And so I think that's where we need to start, um, is just looking at the whole, you know, both boys and girls. A lot of times uh, kids are teased when they're younger mm -hmm. just because it's not cool to be smart. It's not cool to know numbers or understand. I think for me, I was oblivious uh, to what it was to be a nerd or to be labeled a nerd because first of all, my name is complicated. <laughs> I mean, I was teased all my life about my name. Mm -hmm. So I was teased all the time and never understood the differences between mm -hmm. like, oh, you're, you know, you love numbers and you love science and whatnot. Um, um, however, I did notice as I went through high school that it did take people to champion you and to support your cause and to help you find opportunities to get to the next level. And so as a result, I feel it is important to, again, reach out to both boys and girls and to provide opportunities whenever you see uh, an opportunity mm -hmm. available. One of the things we did last year at my kids' school, which was pretty fun, and, and it was really with the intent of giving kids access in a way that they felt that they could be successful with any sort of engineering math science project. So we did a STEM expo. And I, you know, I kind of I ran it a little bit like a project because I'm kind of a project manager. So I would, <laughs> so they had a set of steps. I taught the engineering method to them and then they had a set of steps that they needed to go through. But, and then they had to meet with me and the other engineers and we would ask them questions and we would make sure that things were sound. But we did it in a way that it moved them towards success. And I think that that's what, you know, everybody's, even me as a farm girl from Ohio, you can get intimidated by like, why, am, why would JPL hire me, right? Or why would MIT want me? And so just to move them towards success in a way that they say, like these guys are saying, I, I can do it, you know? It doesn't matter that um, I didn't get a great great in math this semester even, but this, mm -hmm. I can be successful in this thing. And so we had a lot of fun with that um, last year and we'll probably do it at my kids' school again and, the, and the, it was really well received. Oh, I bet so, I bet so.